Yeah. Oh yeah, it's very subway tiley. Yeah, I like it though. It's easy to clean. It's important to have something that's easy in that area. Yeah, that's during that. And then here, I did the tumble brick. Mm -hmm. That's nice. It's all hammed together by a rope. It's architecturally beautiful. And then we got the, the poor man's skylights. I like it. are antique mirrors. Look at these LED glows. Kind of sit around. It must look neat at night too. Oh, it's beautiful at night. And then that's the drink station. Oh, I love that the tin, the kind of, yeah. is that real, the like, pounded tin kind of stuff in the back? Uh, no, that's wallpaper, commercial wallpaper. <laughs> Good job, nice. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. This is uh, an actual tap machine. I put all throwback labels on it. Oh, that's so cool. I love that so, so much. And then you have the, you can call it the orange brick road. <laughs> that leads you. I didn't want any signs to tell you what to order, but you get the menu. And this is how you go. Oh, you go that way. Okay. Go deep cut. And the, these are the t-shirts, so you can see. Oh, that's front and the back of the t-shirt you're gonna buy. That's good, so people don't grab them and open them up, and that's. Yeah, smart. I'd have to mess them and look at them. Yeah. And everything's designed this stuff, so you can just grab the shirt. So mm -hmm. the size here. There's hats there if you want to grab a hat. All this is for the sauce that should be here tomorrow. Classic beverages, our mission statement there. Then you go up and you get cut. There's a few articles there about yeah, that's important. random stuff. Yeah, so you get cut here. Anything that's featured is in orange and it hangs. So uh, we just came off of Saturday, so we do whole hog on Saturdays. So we call it lechon. That's what it's actually called. But we're still educating people on that. And then they go down the line and they pick the desserts and such. We have like a lot of cathedral style tables in addition to these little circle breakout rounds. Really fancy bathrooms. And then we have the uh, the whole hog area. Which we're gonna go into the pit room. Awesome. Yeah. That's pretty we have a uh, on our door. Nice. Well, that's cool. We really love the opportunity to educate people, mm -hmm. so, so we really want to make sure there's a pit tour involved here. Pit room. Get all the pits in here. Are they all JNRs? Uh, uh, no, not all. So we have five, okay. six. You can include the one outside. We have the BQs. <laughs> That for the whole hog? This is, yeah, so this looks into the dining room. Oh, that's so, that's so such a smart idea. On Saturdays, we cook the whole hog here over top of coals. This, this burn barrel I made, uh, it's got all these like little engineering feats oh, in it. That's fun. I put the uh, custom grates inside so I could create a variance in coal size. But we basically cut here. Um, we let the kids come in on Saturday while everyone waits outside and they either chop with me or we have kids uh, make us random tools to put on our wall here. Really? And this is my first cooker I ever owned. Oh, that's right oh, wow. here. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> I love this. Yeah. And you oh, know it's old yeah. when it has wooden handles. <laughs> that's a good point. 95 all the handles on barbecue pits, Weber's, mm -hmm. anything, was wooden before polyurethane. I had to create my own dampers, piece of foil. I like that you kept it on. Oh yeah, well my dad kind of kept it. I have my little notes of how the lid perfectly sets for airflow, stuff like that. We have the, you know, a little section for awards. No, that's I important. I didn't want to make that too big. No, but it's nice to have We have our that. mission statement up there, so. A little bit of scripture. That's what stay hungry means. I won't go into that. Uh, this is the, well, this is the veteran private chef's table. Uh, we've had events all weekend, but in this section of the pit room is a private chef's table just for veteran families. And we have a TV here for them. And they get privately cut here on this table. Oh. And uh, this is Pecan Lane. And this is a like a custom wood room. Are you, so I put you, windows are, all around. Are you using just pecan? Uh, predominantly, but traditionally we're using more oak now. Yeah, I would think so. 
well, it's because we started wet aging all our briskets, so it was like um, we didn't need as much pecan as we thought we needed within the smoking process of the bigger cuts. The smaller cuts are still 100% predominantly pecan. Burned through about a quarter and a half a week because we have an outdoor green space, which I'll show you. It's a beautiful day today, too. Oh, yeah, totally. We have this uh, this tile I got in from Mexico. I'm big on, like, Mexican tile. Mm -hmm. It's our vent bar here. Uh, this is all our green space area. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's all on the side of the restaurant so that kids can run out here. We're about to have a bunch of kids play stuff. Uh, I'm building a small playhouse back there. It's in the shape of the barbecue restaurant I wanted when I was a kid. So it, <laughs> it cool. was actually supposed to be called Good Times Barbecue. So there's actually going to be a mini barbecue restaurant for kids to play in and play barbecue restaurants. That is super cool. Uh, we have the American flag here, really big, uh, all the lighting. Then we have the the uh, cool yeah, this murals. Yeah, gorgeous. Very Americana. This, is a, uh, this must be a dream come true, Chris. This is so Yeah, it's 100% beautiful. of what I wanted. Like, not even... I didn't have to, it's 100% of what I've dreamt about. And I even have my cooker laid out back there so people can, like adults can look in it, <laughs> kids have. can't get to it. So I added that extension driveway just for that purpose. Who, who, who so built your pit? Or did, did you build your own pit or did you have someone build it? Uh, so it was a blend, but it's a primitive. So I, I have built my own pits. That's my, kind of like my next step because I have owned and cooked on every pit I possibly could. So now it's time to start building my own. But everyone's doing that now. That's like the big game. Yeah, it does, it does seem like it, yeah. I only go with what I'm passionate about. I'm passionate about cookers, but at this point in time, I wanted to uh, just focus on the restaurant and, you know, building a good brand, serving people well.